up everyone this is Curtis with We Whack a Lawn Care. Hey you know what I'm doing I'm on my way to go take care of some lawns here today that's right oh I got a number of them on the list I gotta go do oh the customers are calling and they want me to come out there and uh, take care of their lawns get it all looking good for them hey it's that time y'all know it's uh, Mother's Day around this month here in May so a lot of people want to get the lawns all looking good and all, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm on my way. I'm going to uh, stop off up here at uh, Kroger and uh, I'm going to get some gas up here. So, that's, yeah, I got to get some gas. I'm, I'm running a little low, y'all. Uh, that's where I'm headed. I'm headed up there to Kroger. See, I've uh, been working a lot, so I've been burning a lot of fuel. I tell you, ah, but I need to get, I need, yeah, I need, I got one gas can with me, so, you know, oof, run it. now, it would have been nice, well, if I'd had my trailer with me, and I could be using those bigger mowers, but I gotta use the walk behind, because this is all I can get in the bed of the truck, but what I have in the bed of the truck today, I have the Honda mower, and I have the Toro uh, 30 inch more that I will, uh, will well, I think I'm going to just use more of the uh, Honda more today for some of these yards. Uh, yeah, there, there we go. Y'all can see it right there. I'm uh, in the parking lot there at Kroger, so I'm headed over there to get some of that over fuel there. I'm going to use my car there and get me a little a little discount. To, you know, they knock off three cents. Hey, every little bit helps. So, hey, I, can put, I, I need that three cents. <laughs> what I'm going through, I tell you, it's rough out here. But we're going to get through it. We're going to get through it. So, hey, hey, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to stop in here and get some of that. Um, well, you know what? I got to burn. I have to burn that premium. I use number premium in my mowers because uh, I get good service out of them. I don't have any, you know, problems with it. So I, you know, burn them with the premium. And, uh, you know, I use them in gas mix and all. And, and the units uh, perform very well. You know, still have to do some maintenance on them, of course, cleaning them. You know, every now and then you need to get the carburetor cleaned out. And I run some of that seafoam and mix it in with the gas mix. And I'll run it through there and it cleans it out and it keeps it running. Hey, there you go, y'all. I got that fuel and, hey, I'm on my way now. That's right. I just wanted to stop in there and, you know, fill it up and all. I didn't want to just, uh, I didn't want y'all to get bored looking at me fill up the gas can. So I wanted to cut it short so I could fill that up and just get on this road and get down to this customer's uh, property so I can mow it and everything. And yeah, I'm going to be sharing that with y'all. So, uh, this one here is a, you know, this is just an intense mowing with the uh, Honda mower. Oh, I got I to gotta do a lot of walking today. I tell you, I got to walk. I'm just, what I'm thinking about it, I'm just sharing this with y'all uh, until I get there. But I got to walk them down today. I got to walk them down. Yeah, but it's okay. I'm in shape. I can do it. I can do it. That's what I know. That's what my mind keeps telling me. I can do it. So I've been doing it. You know, you got to sit in mind and say, hey, we got to go in. Hey, we got to go help these customers. The customers want the lines done, so we got to go help them. And that's the thing, y'all. You know, when you, um, when you get in lawn care, you learn a lot. And, uh, what people want and there's a big big demand in lawn care because a lot of people they're looking for someone to come over and help them you know that's what it is it's just a helping process I mean you uh, a lot I mean what I, what I want to say is a lot of customers uh, needs a good lawn care person to come over and help them and you have to have that helping attitude there because if you don't have the helping attitude, then you don't understand about working. Working is helping someone. I mean, helping them resolve a problem. You know, you got every problem has a solution. The solution is, hey, 
I can fix that for you. I'll get it mowed for you. I'll get I'll get it all trimmed up, edged up, and everything for it. And and just do it. Give a customer a good job in there, and I tell you, they will uh, appreciate you, and they will uh, pass you on to their neighbors and relatives and just a number of people, you know, because they're satisfied with your help. That's what we in. That's a, this is a help process, you know. In, in any business, is a help helping process. You ever see the sign that says "Oh, help on"? Well, that's what it is. Somebody's looking for help to, for you to come and join their organization and help them take care of their customers. And you have to put that in your mind that hey, I'm a helper. I'm gonna help someone. And you know, if you have good health, then you can get out here and help someone. That's what it's about helping. Um, you just got to keep that mindset that you want to help somebody and I mean a lot of times you'll deal with some uh, what can I say some people uh, due to circumstances I don't know they may have some uh, issues as we want to say issues something may not be working uh, right in their life so they um, may talk to you a certain way or angry in a certain way and you have to kind of look over them because hey you're just a servant you're just there to help them I mean they give you a little something you know uh, well you know you gotta have some money to come over there cause hey you know it costs money so you know you gotta buy you gotta buy the gas the fuel the mix and all that well you know you see me stop off at the Kroger and get some of that gas there so I could put some in the tank so I could come over here and service the property for the customer, help the customer, y'all. And that's what I'm doing. That's what that's what it's about, y'all. So just keep it in mind that you are a helper and you are valuable because you do you do the diligent good work. And I always say tell that, put that in your mind that you do good work. Y'all, I know y'all look at me doing this, but I've been doing this stuff for years. You know, and you know you do good work and tell yourself you do good work and do it and just keep doing it you know and you'll be amazed at yourself at how good you are you know just 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 say hey I'm good at whatever I do and if you and if you feel that you're not good just keep doing it and you will get good like they always say practice make perfect well, that's what you have to do sometimes. You just have to keep practicing it until you get perfect. You know? And you'll get there. you get there. I'm serious. I mean, this is some hard work. Uh, it don't get easy. It gets hard. Because it, working in it, the sun start beaming on you. When the sun gets about 105, sometimes 115, look at here. You got to still count up get out there and push through it just push through it and I've had my days y'all I mean years and years out here doing this I mean that sun ain't nothing nice I mean you you look at a piece of meat putting on a barbecue pit imagine what the rays of that sun is doing to you cooking you and you gotta you know just protect your skin put you some long sleeve shirt long pants or whatever it's rough that stuff, woof. <laughs> Many days I see for the little amount of money that I'm making out here, I'll be like, man, forget this. I'm going home and getting the air conditioned. But then I yeah, I think about the customers that are depending on me to come and help them, so then I can't do it. I just have to get out there in that heat and just go do it. And I feel good about it that I was able to get up and go and help someone. And that's a good feeling that you know you, you help the customer. And I mean, I help them year after year, some of them. I mean, after the lawn care season is over, I mean, hey, if you'd like for me to come back, you got to call me, let me know. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't call any customers at the end and um, ask them to, you know, they want me to come back. That's at their discretion because, hey, maybe they don't like me. I don't know. Maybe you want somebody else. I don't know. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Either way the wind blows, this is going to be all right with Curtis, you know, because I done mow so many yards, it don't even matter. I mean, when I look through the database of all the places that I have attended and 
lungs that I have taken care of, I was like, whoa, it is a lot, y'all. I mean, a lot. I have, ooh, uptown, downtown, round town, out of town, in town. Oh, there's some places out here that I took care of. I didn't even know existed. And I like, due to this lung care, I was like, wow. <laughs> I don't want a lot of places. And, and I mean, I, you know, I've enjoyed it. And I just had a good, you know, a real good time, y'all. See, I done, I done finished that one up. And now I'm pulling off and I'm headed to go and take care of some more. See, you just got to, uh, you got to stick with it. Stay consistent. Don't let a lot of uh, stuff get you down, even though it's hard work. You know, and that's the thing, even you know, when I have like a helper or something with me, I be you know, most people come to me and they be want they want a job, they ask me, and I'm like, man, do you really want to do this? You know what you <laughs> Oh yeah, but then when they get in there and they really find out what this work is about, it's actually about working. And it's what can you withstand? Can you withstand these standing on your feet 16 hours a day from sun up to sun down sometimes seven days a week now look guys i don't have to work no seven days a week nor do i have to even do that but that's that's just part of learning to learn the lung cure uh what it is you gotta go get it when it's available to you because you got, you're gonna have some raining day rainy 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 days and you're not gonna be able to work and think about if you have a downtime where you're in the mix of the lung cure season and it's raining every day, it may rain this week, next week, or if it rain a whole month, then you got to go out there to uh, be a go-getter where that you can make it up. And that's the part of, you know, working seven days a week and all. Now, it ain't always working on seven days a week. I mean, hey, I've had some times where I'm like two or three months off doing nothing. You know, hey, it is what it is. You just got to be ready to go get it when it's there for you to get. And like it is coming into the summer, it's hot. So you better be ready to go get it. You better be ready. Hey, when, when you miss those days due to the fact, due to weather conditions, then you got to say, well, listen, it's raining. Okay, I'm going to have to make it up. I'm going to have to work Saturday. I'm going to have to work Sunday. I'm going to have to work all week. I'm going to have some long days. And you just do that. I mean, you know, you know, if you want to make the line, Chris, because once it's over, it's over. If you didn't make it, <laughs> I'm telling you, if you don't make it by the time October get here, it's over with. The line, Chris, season over with. You ain't going to make it. Now, <laughs> when October get here, it's, it's, it's a portion that I don't like. I don't like dealing with them leads because... They want to pay me the same thing. And I'm like, nah, I ain't going to be doing that this year. Forget them leads. <laughs> no, I'm not going to be worrying with all them leads. Tree, trees and leads? No. No. That's a lot of work. And, you know, just here mowing. Now, the mowing season right here in May is hot. So, you know, you got to count. Now, if they want you to come every week, you go every week. Because there's going to be some weeks you may not be able to get in there. Like these lawns that you see me taking care of. Uh, this right here is uh, basically I've been coming every week. So, you know, you got to count your money for the weeklies. Now, I wish all of them had them weekly, but now some of them want to buy weekly. You know, you come this week and then you skip a week and then come the next week. Well... It's a problem with that because if it rain next, if say it rain all next week, then I can't go to that to that line. So it's gonna be all jacked up by the time I get over there. So then I'm running with I'm running with my biweekly and weekly together. It's like my weeklies, you know, I get a break because I don't have to cut those other yards until the next week. But now they are gonna interfere with my weekly lines. And I'm going to be jacked up. Because <laughs> I got to cut weekly and bi-weekly together. And a rotation. Oh, man. 
and if it rained two weeks to three weeks, business is all jacked up. It's all jacked up. And sure enough, jacked up. Now y'all see me. You see what I'm working with? I'm working with a Honda more. I'm out here walking behind this moor all day long, trying to get these yards taken care of. So you know that's that's hard. Now I'm gonna. <laughs> nah, that's like when you had a trailer. I <laughs> I, I get that skeg off of there and uh, I go get it. I knock that down real quick. But I don't have it, so you know, I'm reverted back down to just walking these moors. I mean, with the walking moors here. So it's going to take some time. So. I, oh well, it is what it is. But I'm going to get this here all taken care of for the customer. I'm going to get it all looking good for the customer. Try to keep the customers happy, you know, try to keep them happy. And that's, you know, that's, that's all you can do is try to keep them happy. If they're not happy with your service, then you, you know what you do? You just say, well, thank you for that opportunity. And, uh, hey, I, I may, you know, just say, just say thank you and then politely leave and go on. You know, that's what I do. You know, like, I don't. You know, I, 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 my feelings are never hurt if somebody fired me. Because <laughs> I've had some, you know, they fired me and then they try to get me back. Well, I won't go back. I'd be like, nope, I ain't going back there. Like, it's too many yards to mow. I'm going to go mow somebody else's. You know, I'm not going to waste my time with them. And normally what happens is they get rid of you because of pricing. They want to pay you. They want to set your price for for your service. And I'm like, well, I gave them option. I said, I tell you what, here what you can do. You can uh, fill that truck up with some gas, fill them gas cans up, and then maybe we can get to that price. I said, but I got overhead costs, wear and tear, insurance, taxes, all that. You got to pay for all that stuff. This is a convenience for you. So, you know, you got to come on with some money if you want to keep me coming. You know, and I, I've had some customers, you know, uh, that would call me and uh, they were having hard times. And, you know, I I went on and I helped them mow their lawn, but I couldn't uh, afford to keep driving way across town to. Uh, keep helping them and, you know fuel went up and all and I'm like hey I need to be taking care of the customers that's got some money <laughs> you know if you ain't got no money <laughs> I'm like no I see all the other customers you know when you go into these grocery stores you see the people coming in that they have money buying all them items hey I gotta have some so I can buy some too you know hey that's just the way it is you gotta have some money to operate gotta have some money to operate now you know it's a setback I wasn't looking for nothing like this this year but it happens you know it happens and I appreciate hey I don't want to say another I want my son of mine I want to tell y'all I really appreciate all the comments because I try to read all the comments and uh, and you know it kind of lift me up by reading those comments and people telling me you know uh, they thought I had quit and I put it down and all. Hey guys, when that happened, I tell you what, I, in my mind, I had quit. I was like, you know what, just forget this. But then I had a, uh, uh, I have some lawn care accounts where customers have prepaid me. And uh, I have to go all the way and complete that. You know, and it's like, that's a large lump. Some money I would have to just give back, and I already got that count, so I need to go on and complete this. You know, even though they done paid me and all, they were really looking for me to uh, uh, take care of the lawn for them this lawn care season. So, you know, I'm gonna try. I'm, I'm gonna try to take care of it for them, the best of my ability, best I can do. Hopefully, if nothing else happens now. You know, I'm not losing any more 
equipment, like losing a trailer, or I lose something else, and I just get frustrated and say, you know what, enough's enough, um, I, I will have to give them the money back and just say, forget it, I'm through with this, because I'm not going to keep on uh, investing money into uh, equipment for... Uh, you know, some thief to come along and take it. It's just, no. Now I don't put my locks and I have to put a lock and a cable and all this and that. You know, that's, that stuff is, that stuff gets hard. Lock, unlock, lock, unlock, lock, unlock, and then watching all the time and for your over equipment. That stuff is very hard. It's stressful. It's hard doing the work. It's hard trying to keep your equipment. It's just hard all around. This is very stressful, I tell you, because you can't you can't walk around and think that it's all good. You may have a, a time you may have never lost a piece of equipment or anything, but it's always that day. It's always that day, and it's like be thankful if you haven't lost anything, but it's always that day. You know, you're just in the right area, where that you don't have a lot of these. Uh, sticky hands, you know, wicked minded people with sticky hands, you know, they, their hands, they put their hands on something and they stick to them. Or can we say magnetic hands, you know, yeah, you know, they, they walk around with these magnet hands because they just slide and grab something in their hand and run off with it. And, uh, but that's, that's kind of stuff you, you know. In a, you know, when you live in a big city with millions and millions and millions of people, amongst all those millions and millions of people are some good, good people and some wicked, bad, thieving mind people. And they out there. You just, I mean, you don't know. You don't know where they are. But they out there. And so... You can't let your guard down and think that everything is all right. Because it's not. It's not. This, I mean, I don't went through this so many times, y'all. I'm like, uh, You know, and, and, and it's like, you know, a lot of my customers, older customers. I mean, I got some customers that are, you know, in the 80s, in the 90s. And I've been cutting the yard for a long time. And I was like, man, wow. You know, and, I, and I've been helping these people. And, you know, and they, they've been loyal to me, sticking with me. And all that. So sometimes, you know, I feel like, I don't know, <laughs> it's hard for me to just tell them no, but I know it's going to come a time that I'm going to have to just go and put this down because it is what it is. I can't afford to stay in it. You know, I'm not, I don't want to go and buy another trailer and this happen again because I don't have nowhere to park it. And if, you know, find a place to park it, it's so inconvenient because you got a driveway across town uh, to park it here and then you go get it, then you got to take it back and, oh boy, you got to load it, unload it, pick it up over here and over there. It is great to have, but it, it is a pain dealing with it. It's a pain. I mean, I love having a trailer because I was able to do a lot of work I was able to you know do a lot and, and you can see in my videos you can see some of the cleanups you can see some of the junk removal you can see some of me doing pressure washing jobs you can see me hauling off a lot, a lot of stuff I mean I've done a lot of stuff just having a trailer and it was convenient but that that was uh, convenient because I had the trailer and I had to pay for a, a spot to park the trailer so I had to keep that trailer rolling so that I could uh, pay for all those things. Pay for having a, a parking spot and storage and all of that. It's no good to have that stuff and it's just sitting there and, and it's just taking your money and you're not uh, earning any money with it. So, you know, that that's the thing. It's like right now I'm slow, so. I think I'm gonna keep it that way. I don't wanna, uh, like I said, uh, it'd be nice to have another trailer, but I'm, I'm gonna keep it low. I'm gonna figure it out and just 
try to make do without uh, a trailer at this point in time because uh, you know due to the way everything is out there with the economy and all it's not it's not a good good time to be buying a lot of stuff you know it's just not I mean it's such a shortage on everything and you gotta all pay a high price for everything so I'm like no I'm just gonna hold off now if I was what can I say if I was just really wanting to just get out there and hustle real real hard then I probably would uh, would invest in another trailer and just go get it but I'm like not not right now things are just it, it's not a good time to be buying a lot of stuff. Trust me, y'all. I know what I'm talking about from experience. I, when I when I got that trailer, it as that old saying, let the good times roll. The good times were rolling because it was an opportunity, and I had more work than I could uh, stand to do because of that trailer. Because I had a lot of opportunities. I was doing a lot of stuff, tree removal. People, people ask me to move this for them, move that. Can you take this cross town for me? Can you pick this up? Can you do this? Can you do? It was a lot. I mean, and, and when the trailer would would roll, some people would, you know, would just walk over to me. Hey, I like the. Can you do something? I'm like what? And y'all know my other trailer. Like when I had that sign on there, man, that sign. Oof. Uh. Uh. I, I said I wasn't going to leather that one up. I wasn't going to put a big sign on that trailer because no. People would pull up behind that, that, that trailer and take a picture of the sign and call me. They'd be all down the street and they say, hey, I just passed. Can you come down here and cut my yard? I see you down there mowing. I was like, no. And they would get mad because I'm like, I got to stick to schedule. You can call and you can schedule something and we can do it, but I can't do it today. But they feel like that you mowing the yard that you, as soon as you finish that yard you can come right down there and mow the yard uh, and, and I, I still get that today people call me up and say hey I want to get my yard mowed today I'm like well I can't do it today I, I, I have to I have a schedule and I'm already taking care of some customers and I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna interrupt that because you can lose some good customers you take on this one time deal because well they just call you up out the blue and I'm like no I'm not going to do that take care of your customers that are paying you weekly you got weekly customers bi-weekly customers you wanted to stick to taking care of them now you can add them on and tell them you know well I can add you on to the schedule with service which you like you know these one time it's, it's not working because you go over there and this is something that happened a long time ago y'all I was out mowing the yard and I said hey it's just right there and I go over there and I look at the yard the thing is so jacked up I end up having to put an hour hour and a half to two hours and try to get it all cleaned up to help this customer so that they'll be satisfied now I'm two to three hours behind where I need to be because I done got caught in traffic and I can't get over there or it started raining on me and this customer was looking for me and depending on me to come and oh my god man so I don't I don't try to take him any extra work when I'm out there I just I give him a business card and we'll just schedule something if you can't schedule then I prefer you get someone else cause no no, I'm not gonna be stressing with this. this. This work is hard enough, and you gotta stay consistent in what you're doing. You know, you don't wanna uh, just, you know, everybody. Oh, I want it right now. I want to get my yard done today. No, nope. no, we can schedule, or I can put you somewhere during the week. You know, and I'm like, mm -mm. Mm -mm. and then say they say they want to schedule something and then they'll tell you oh well okay tomorrow I said ma'am you, you sure and then you get over there it's already been mowed 
and they didn't call you back and all. Oh, okay. nah. So the best thing to do is call them the day of and say you're on your way over there and is everything still okay for me to come and mow? Because sometimes, you know, they mean they got somebody else have you burn up your gas or waste, you know. Or they done got mad because you you couldn't do it that day. I deal with all kinds of stuff, y'all. Yeah, forget it. You know, I mean like, oh well, I'm sorry, uh, I'm gonna get, get you next time. And I was like, okay, sure, thank you. And I'm like, it ain't gonna be no next time. I don't want it. I don't. I, I, I'm not, I don't even waste my time for no next time. I'm not looking for you to cut your yard. It doesn't matter to me. I, I stick to what I already have. You know, inconsiderate about stuff. And I would get something like that. And then it, sometimes people, no, I'm not. You gotta have some structure in your business. And, it, and and then you gotta get organized, some organization. If they're not organized, you know, you ain't no flip-flop bum or whatever it is. You're like, man, please, I don't work that way. No, I got a schedule. I mow the yards that I want. Want them all, put them on there if I'm gonna mow all week. And sometimes I'm like, no, I got my schedule is already full, filled. So I'm not gonna add any more on it. But as you can see me, y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm up here in the video. I'm just walking away. This is what I do all week long, all lawn care season, doing what I got to do. Walk it down, give it more. Be where there's a will, there's a way. You can work anything. There's going to always be some obstacles in the way. There's going to always be something just going to try to get in your way and make you fail. But you can't let you're not gonna fail because you you know what you gotta do. You gotta keep on moving. You're not gonna fail. You know the trailer. I lost the trailer, but that didn't stop nothing. It wasn't stopping nothing. It might have slowed me down, but it ain't stopping me. You know, it ain't stopping me. I'm still moving, y'all. You see me? You see me walking? Now you see you see I'm walking, and right then you it's on my mind. I be like. You know, I'm mean, like, man, doggone thief. I mean, you're still walking right there. I got commercial boards I can be using. Be done with this here. I could have finished this a lot quicker. I'm up here walking, walking this down with a little hunger. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. It ain't hurt me. This is not hurting me. I'm good. I can do it. My legs are not hurting me. No. And you see me doing it. So I'm getting it done. And guess what? When I finish this one up, I'm going to get paid. And then after that, if there's enough time, I'm going to go do another one. And I do another one the next day. I'm going to keep on moving, y'all. That's what you got to do. You just got to keep moving. You don't give up. I didn't. Well, a lot of, I know y'all left coming. Somewhere. Hey, Curtis never gave up. Curtis was working on a solution. Now, if I didn't do lawn care, I would be doing something else. I'm not a quitter. You know, I didn't quit. It's just that I got caught into something. I just decided that on a financial situation, I'm not just going to go pour no more money into this because you got to outline some things. I, I, I've i seen some people go and as soon as something happened, they run and they go get something else and it happened again. Now, that didn't make any sense. No. Let's give it some time. Let's weigh the facts. Let's look at the economy. And uh, what's going to be beneficial. You know, like I said, there's a little uh, recession going on. You're like, nah. Uh -uh. And it's bad out here. I mean, people stealing everywhere you hear. You know, you know the big thing now with the doggone catalytic converters. You know, they want that that metal out of those things run your car because they want this uh, some kind of metal that they have having that uh, converter oh man mm -mm. Mm -mm. but you know it's got to get better it's got to get better 
you know, I, I remember years ago, they had this thing about these, uh, what was it, it was stereos, you know, the steel car stereo system, I, I'm like, oh man, now they're making them, you can't, you can't really steal the car stereo out of them, because it's all computerized, you start messing with something, the whole car shits now, you almost gotta leave that thing the way you purchase it, you know, but back in the day, you want to put you some big speakers, subwoofers, tweeters, all of that. You want to have some good sound, but, mm -hmm. nah. And then you fix that car up and put all that in there, and then somebody still still. Then you're going to be sick. And then the insurance, oh, well, we don't cover that. Oh, you put, oh, mm -hmm. man, man. It's tough, y'all. It is tough, though. You know, the world that we live in, like, we, we got a lot of criminal minded people. You work hard to try to have something, and then they just sit back and look at it and then decide that they just gonna take what you done earned. Just take it from you. Huh. No, but that's just a loser. I mean, you, you're a loser. You know, when you can be a winner, I mean, that's a weak minded person. I always say your mind is weak if you can't get up and go get it. Now, you see me. You see all these lungs I'm doing. I'm going to go get it. I'll get up and go get it. I'll work for whatever I want. You know? I mean, I'm getting paid for doing this. And you, you see it. And I done mowed a lot of them. And customers pay me because they don't feel like doing it, doing this stuff themselves. A lot of them, they sick. They got problems. Health problems. And they, you know, can't do it. They have allergies and they can't be out here in this type of uh, environment because of the you know weather conditions humidity pollen in the air and all of this it bring them down you're allergic to it I mean you know asthma there's a lot of things so you know a lot of times you know I mean I don't know some guys I don't know you can always make an excuse that you can't find a job. And I mean, if you can't find a job, then you need to be working on creating a job for yourself. You know, if nobody won't hire you, you need to be creating something so that there's somebody that you can hire yourself to do the work. That's what it's about. Hiring yourself to do the work. You know, a lot of times that's what the guys would be on. I remember it was some years ago, some guys tell me, oh man, I'm gonna uh start my business I'm gonna get a couple guys and put them off out there and uh, have them doing this and doing that and I'm like man come on you can be so far ahead if you just employ yourself you know I mean you it helps to have some some help and sometimes it's not help <laughs> because some of them are tear up the equipment and all this and then get you in a bind and nah but you want to help yourself, help yourself, work for yourself, create your own job. You know, a lot of times, a lot of people think that they need to go work for somebody when you could be working for yourself. What is it? What is it? Think about what did what did these organizations do? They figured a way how to be creative and get a lot of work and hire somebody to do the work for them. And that's, I mean, you. You should be doing that, hiring yourself to go do the work. Just be creative. Think about it. Just think about it. What did they do? And how did they do it? You know? And they kept growing. They kept adding and they had more, more, more and more businesses, more and more services. And so they'd hire people to go out and do the services for them. They train them and teach them what they want and pay them a salary. And uh, send them out there and, uh, hey, Go out there and make me some money. And that's the process. So, you know, when you're looking at a job, that's all a job is. It's a helping process. I mean, if you get a, a good enough business and the demand is there, of course, you're going to have to hire somebody to uh, help you keep it going because you done created a, a successful, demanding business and you can't do all this work. But the customers, 
uh, depending on your organization to come and help them or whatever it's in, you know. And, and that's in anything, lawn care. It could be in any kind of organization. But depending on how big you want your organization. But along the way, you know, it's called growth. So you can grow within yourself. You know, and, that, and that's the thing. A lot of people, they think that they need to go and work for someone when they can be working for themselves. And I'm going to understand. Some of them can't work for themselves because they, uh, they're not going to do all that hard effort of managing, doing accounting paperwork, organization, uh, the marketing, uh, you know, talking to the people, because some I get some customers and they tell me some, some people don't know how to talk, they don't talk to them well, I mean, well, they talk to them well, for other words, they might cuss them out or something, you know, or the customers are afraid of them, <laughs> I've had customers tell me that, y'all, hey, y'all, I'm going to talk y'all. I'm out of here. I'm out of here, y'all. Hope you enjoy this video. All right.